Good morning, my name is Mike, and uh, I review headlamps, among other things. This is the Nightcore HC65 UHE. Now, this is the first headlamp to use UHE technology, according to the pamphlet that came with it. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing just how efficient, or if it is brighter with other lamps. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. This is the Nightcore. They did send this to me no charge in exchange for a fair and honest review, so that's what we're going to do today. Let's uh, see what it can do, shall we? Now I've turned off all my auxiliary lights, so all we're gonna see here is whatever the night core pushes out. So let me show you what it can do. So this is its highest right now, that's its turbo mode. And it will step down after a few seconds, but you gotta admit that's a really bright wide light. Now I press it once. Now we're in its low mode, medium, and high. Now I'm going to press the mode button over here. And now we're in what's called the uh, auxiliary mode, which is really just about right if you want to do, say, cooking or anything else where you're just working close to your campsite. You don't want to burn through the battery that quickly, but you do want to have a good view. It has high and low. Press the mode button again. Now we're in red. This also is a high and a low. Press it again, and now you're in the SOS or uh, flashing red mode. Press it again, and we are back to normal. Can you see the rabbit there? Let's see if I can make it a little brighter. Wow, this is a 2000 lumen headlamp. There's a rabbit there. And there's a rabbit right there. Oh, there's four. <laughs> Look at them all. All kinds of rabbits. Which usually means all kinds of coyotes. But I am testing out this new flashlight, which is the Nightcore HC65. It just stepped down. Incredibly bright. Yeah, that is a really wide shot. 2,000 lumens. And the bugs just love it. Okay, let's take this inside, shall we? Oh, oh, it's very nice. Beautiful box, you know, fantastic. Has everything you needed to have right there with all the uh, settings. Of course, it comes with the manual, comes with the light, and it also comes with a USB-C recharging cable right there. And it comes with this extra strap. And what the extra strap does is it actually connects in here, and then it comes over and loops onto the back so you have that full helmet effect if you do require one. Let's take a closer look at the light itself. As you can see, there are eight LEDs right here, and there's also two LEDs right in there. So these are the LEDs that provide the auxiliary mode. And I'll show you what I mean. Let me turn it on, press and hold. So there's red. There's your eight. Brighter, brighter, brighter. That's low. And here are your auxiliary bulbs right there, just the two of them. Might not be able to see it too well because the, all the lights I have on in here, but there's two small LEDs in there. Now it does have an 18650 4000 milliamp battery. 4000 milliamp, 10 amp. It is the NL1840HP for high drain devices, but this is really an 18650 battery. Slides in, really nice fit and finish. On this side, we have the USB-C recharging port right there. I wouldn't say this is waterproof, but it is water resistant. And one other thing I do like about this is that it pops out fairly easily. So now you could have a lantern. Now, even though I do really like this flashlight and it is probably one of my favorites that I've ever tested, like between headlights and flashlights, this is hands down one of my favorites. It's completely adjustable. The headlamp itself is really comfortable. The fact that I can pop it out and use it as a lantern is a favorite. 
I can slide that into my pocket with no real issues. It's nice. I do like how it has that look of being um, torqued in there with Allen keys. It's just an attractive light, the dual buttons, you know, everything about it. Really, really well done. Except for one little thing. This full metal body, that's heavy. It literally, <laughs> I can't say literally, it weighs a fair amount. And when you have this on your head for a while, you can almost feel it start to slide, even though the band itself does come with like this rubber grip that helps us stay on. I found that when I was working in my pod here, as I was packing up my garage, that it got a little heavy on my head and would start to slide a little bit, no matter how much I adjusted it. And I'm sure that the extra clip that it comes with, that would probably help um, alleviate that issue. But I found that I was running through some, uh, just some issues with it. If this is going to be on top of your hat, shouldn't be a problem or attached to a helmet, not a problem. If you're using it for rock climbing, well, that's my only complaint. It's just a little hefty. But besides that, man, just, I just really like it. Now you'll notice that there are two buttons on top, two independent separate buttons. The one, if you press mode, it will tell you how much of a charge you have left. You press and hold the power button here to turn on the light. And what's really nice is if you double click the mode button here twice, it goes into SOS. And then if you press the on button, it goes into what's called beacon mode. Let me show you how this works. The range on that alone, is just quite amazing. So as you can see here, I'm about 100 meters away from my house and my wife is recording this and I'm in beacon mode right now in the day. Like, you know, it's, I'd say it's early evening, but it still works out really well. Press and hold it again, it's off. And that's it, that's really all there is to it. Nightcore just continues to impress me with the quality of their products. Now the last Nightcore video I recorded was the UT27, which is this model here, which just blew me away with how cool it is. Also two buttons. So if you wanna take a look at this Nightcore product, it's just there, can't miss it. And I'll leave a playlist over here of other flashlights I reviewed. And if you do like this, feel free to click that like and subscribe button because I review a lot of flashlights. If you do choose to purchase one of these, I will be uh, compensated from Nightcore. The link is down below, and I appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Can't wait to see you on the next video.